So little cause for carolings of such ecstatic sound was written on terrestrial things afar or nigh around, that I could think there trembled through his happy good night air some blessed hope whereof he knew and I was unaware. I'm Samuel West, and my lockdown silver lining has been poetry. On the second day of lockdown, I realised that if we couldn't meet face to face, I wasn't going to get a lot of acting work. So I wondered what I could do to be an asset to the collective. And I can read verse, I'm all right at that. And within 24 hours, I had several thousand requests for 650 different poems. I was able to respond to things that were going on in lockdown. Three poems about statues on the day that Colston was pulled down. And on the day that Dominic Cummings drove to Barnard Castle, I had another Cummings, E.E. E. Cummings, with the uh, sonnet, Somewhere I Have Never Travelled Gladly Beyond, sometimes known as Durham. I called it Pandemic Poems. Hello. So little cause for carolings of such... The very first poem I chose to start with was The Darkling Thrush by Thomas Hardy. Afar or nigh around. Which is a poem about him listening to a thrush singing. And he's a bit sad. And the thrush is singing anyway. Some blessed hope. And I chose it because I'd heard that in post-lockdown Wuhan, for the first time in a generation, you could hear birdsong. And I think that's probably been my motto. Some blessed hope. If you told me that we'd be doing the world premiere of a Pam Ayers poem, I wouldn't have believed you. I think that's probably um, my proudest moment. I want to share my silver lining with someone who didn't have one, so I'm going to be buying coats for 10 refugee children from the Choose Love Shop. Please share your silver lining in a video and at the Choose Love shop. Perhaps in the new year, I think in the darkest point of post-Brexit January, we might go back, spread a little light and love. Who knows? <laughs>